I've changed the shape of uh, this uh, sort of metal armature here um, and uh, now I'm getting uh, more swings in between um, recharges of the pendulum with the hips uh, toddle and um, uh, if you remember how this was in this shot you can see that the metal is bent at 90 degrees and that there's a large gap between the face of the coil and the, uh, the actual metal armature and uh, now looking again at this radius um, you can see that the gap is relatively small and stays uh, quite small uh, but the the force is such that it's um, s still driving the pendulum uh, towards the right. What you may notice is that there's a, a, a little twang th that takes place because this metal is a little bit springy and it gets pulled down. I'll, uh, I'll zoom in but I, I don't know as the uh, video actually catches it. Let's get the light in there. So I'm just going to put a brace uh, from there to the pendulum uh, so as all of the force is taken up uh, in pulling the pendulum and not just twanging that bit of metal. As you can see I've uh, dramatically changed the shape of uh, this little armature there and um, I'm going to carry on uh, playing. Um, you can see uh, when this is uh, getting a charge now it's uh, it's going about three beats uh, in between charges um, but I need to polish up the little hips mechanism as it, uh, it, it does a double catch occasionally. This is interesting as I've just spotted something on the video that I didn't see when I was actually making the uh, test and you'll see the pendulum is swinging to the left and then uh, as it starts to charge, uh, sorry, as it starts to swing to the right so the light comes on showing the coils energized and the pendulum is uh, driven over uh, to the right and then um, when it swings back to the left you'll see this area here actually hits the coil and uh, previously I thought I'd bent that out of the way enough but you can see the wires to the coil move and there um, so it, it's actually taking energy out of the pendulum so I was probably getting better results than I thought but uh, I just hadn't realized I'd uh, got it wrong Ah, oh, there you saw it just caught on the end. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to that on the, uh, but and it's done it again. You may remember I cut this uh, little dog at the bottom uh, just by eye, by hand, and, um, and there was no measurement. So I just wanted to make something so as I could actually uh, use it, and, um, and then try and <laughs> understand it, and. Um, this is how it's working and um, I'll talk you through it. Okay, I'm just going to stop the pendulum and switch the power off. Okay, I'm bringing the pendulum to rest. So the pendulum has just come to rest. Uh, that's over there, that's the pendulum and then uh, this is my cornflake packet uh, device there that's holding uh, this toggle to the pendulum and as the pendulum uh, sorry, as the uh, toggle hits the dog there so there's a point at which it catches and then the back of this um, 
needs to be there to keep the uh, the toggle up and it gets to a point where the, the pendulum has moved sufficiently to the left to uh, allow the the toggle to escape then it moves forward again and it completely uh, does nothing to the switch it just um, uh, bypasses the switch if it comes back now if the pendulum doesn't swing sufficiently far to uh, the left then uh, on its return travel it goes there and because of the action of that pivot up above okay um, it now uh, the top of the toddle this part of the toddle is moving to the right and it effectively uh, just pushes down the switch um, I think that should be obvious to you what, what's happening there um, if not I apologize and then it simply rocks past and goes away So what it tells me is this part of the uh, dog could be removed. It, it, it serves no practical purpose uh, from here, this part. So that, that could all be cut away. Um, on the back, so long as there is sufficient land to catch the edge of the toddle there, then anything after that could go. Uh, so that could be cut off there and it wouldn't hurt um, it would in this case because I've got my screw there but the uh, the profile um, ignoring the fixings the profile need only be from there to there it's this bit that matters um, and uh, one could work that out on paper but I, I just thought it was easier to make it and try it and have a bit of fun uh, playing with it So I'll go through that again, just in case it wasn't clear. I'm calling this the toggle and this the dog. And of course the toggle is connected to the pendulum. If there's a lot of energy in the pendulum, when it swings, uh, the toggle clears both peaks of the dog and then it goes back in the opposite direction. And, and it'll carry on doing that until such times as the energy in the pendulum diminishes. When the energy in the pendulum diminishes it'll get to a point where the swing of the pendulum will take the toddle over the first peak of the dog but then uh, the pendulum will start its uh, return journey and what happens is the bottom of the toddle is trapped in the dog and now there's got to be a that sort of motion where the the top of the toddle has got to go above that fulcrum point there and effectively what it does is push the switch down out of the way you know, we've got the weight of the bob and the pendulum acting on the top of the toggle and it, and it pushes that down and then it's just released and it's that instant there when we get the um, the energy to the little solenoid coil and that's the instant that driving force is put into the pendulum so forgive me if I'm stating something that's obvious to you but uh, sometimes I get emails from uh, folks and they're asking me to give a, a more detailed explanation and uh, just explain things uh, to novices because I guess it's uh, only novices that are going to be watching this. I um, don't think George Daniels will have a great interest in it. <laughs> I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.